Hello everyone, I'm Matt, aka Legion Rex, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last time we just started Ilos, and we are going through it still. So it's time let's so it's time we uh, start playing through the uh, the rest of Ilos and see where it takes us. Um... Ow. <laughs> I totally forgot that there was a Prime there. I, uh, so you can clearly tell that Primes I hate, um, they're the worst. Especially since they're more common in the later games, which is always a pain in the ass. Now, since we we, uh, we did the armature control downstairs, we can do this. This allows us to hack these armatures and use them if we really wanted to. Unfortunately, they don't really do a whole... I've never found a use for them. Because uh, by the time you get in here, you're already being attacked by, like, the primes and stuff. So that I don't feel like... There's really a need for them. It almost feels like they're in the... It almost feels like it's completely pointless, actually. There we go. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh... Head up here. Open the security panel. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. All right. Let's 
go the hardened crate switch over there. Stuff. All right, now let's make our way to the elevator, back to the elevator, this way. All right, open up the elevator and make our way down. I love the music here too, the music is so good and has that synth wave Blade Runner vibe, which are like my favorite types of soundtracks. Just they're absolutely fantastic. The elevators here are admittedly longer than the main game. I think that maybe Ilos is just maybe a bit intensive for. Which is possible, Ilos is pretty much the most intensive planet in the original, what's the most intensive planet in the original game, it probably is you too. Alright, and now we go with the Mako into the bunker to go chase us. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush. Or we just have yet to run into it. That is true. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunk. Oh, get interrupted. Oh, it's yellow now. Okay, it's not blue. It used to be blue in the original release. They changed must have changed the color. What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. I don't think either. This isn't his style. The music here is legendary. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever it is, we should be careful. Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan. Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. What do you want? Why did you bring me here? 
You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through and all you know will be destroyed. It's a relay? How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. We won't stand a chance then. Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Why did they leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien. Unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Well, how do I stop them then? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. 
Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. They didn't find How you? How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So you just hid them? You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. But they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Can you help me with that? Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols, and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. All right, what about Sovereign? If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction a sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. They could just attack. 
Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacons? What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. Quite the risk, my dude. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. What about the Keepers? So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. That explains the Geth. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. What about the Prothean scientists? What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Hey, we need to move then. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. All right, just the same thing before. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. All right. That conversation is long, but it's one of my favorites in the entire series because getting a glimpse into just the Protheans and their the way they function is really great as well as that's how you do an exposition dump. Like that is absolutely like prime, prime way to do one and make it engaging and also enlightening and have everything built up to that one moment. It's mwah, mwah, fantastic.
all their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. The Protheans did not fail. They gave us a chance. It falls to us to make the most of it. So I suggest we hurry. Agreed on that. All right, let's head out. All right. Making our way through this place. Ow. Well, okay, we do have a long road ahead of us, so let's uh, let's uh, keep on going, shall we? I don't think there's anything to pick up along this road, unless I could be wrong on that. I do have equipment, though. Oh, I, oh, I, I need to level up Liara. I forgot about that. Uh, max I get barrier and first aid stuff. Okay, uh, I actually want to change some stuff here. Um... Actually, that's better. I'm gonna give you that. And I'm also gonna give you yeah, energized plating, and I'm also gonna give you a shield and a face so you can get more shields. Um, as for Garrus, yeah, you have a really good shield and a face. Uh, give you better shield. And yeah, okay. Okay, and for me, okay, good. Kill both of them at once, they did, yes. Look at the fires. I really love the look of uh of Ilos here. There's the conduit right there. Let's go and head up. Let's go. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us.
system's not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Alright, we need to get to the conduit. Mostly just kind of have to ignore them. Let's get up there, come on! Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What about other survivors? What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. What about Saren? Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Alright! Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failure. Alright, let's go to the elevator. Things are looking bad! <laughs> Things are not looking good.
Let's lock the elevator. Suit up! We're going outside! Alrighty, this section of the game is so good too. I love, I love how this looks in the Legendary Edition with just Sovereign hovering over you just the entire time. It's just this menacing, and the, the, the cutscenes look fantastic too. Oh, this is one part of the game that has absolutely deserved the uh, Legendary treatment, and they have done a spectacular job. Oh, shit. Alright, everyone's using their weapons. Alright, bye, Geth. This shotgun just absolutely rips through everything. <laughs> Bye! Biotics are really good here because they actually allow you to pretty much, like, just kind of fling people into the atmosphere at will, which is always really fun to do. Oh, and the music here, uh, oh, once again, uh, the banner. It's just, it's just the banner. Kind of just kind of gonna run through just throwing people, to be honest. Oh, so no defense turrets. All right, this part's annoying. What we gotta do is we gotta get to the turrets.
Okay, good. That part's a little bit annoying because they get a bunch of characters just run at you. I died. That's everything here. Oh, there's still one more guy. Edge down over here. medical kit. save and let's go to meet up with Saren Shepard. 
time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I can still stop them, dude. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. And Sovereign will find a place for you, too. You're indoctrinated, bro. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. We can beat them. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it, not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Get the control panel active so we can end this stupid thing. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Well, we're not gonna let them die. Like, they fucking ha like, like, they were, like, a lot of them were, they were pricks in last of the time. Yeah, but I'm not gonna just let them die. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Opening. All ships 
concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. He's dead.
Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Well, of course there's only one answer. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. That is Mass Effect 1. Um, so I love this game, as you can clearly tell. Uh, it's one of my all-time personal favorites. 
just I love the world. I love the cast. I love the story. Just everything about it just oozes that classic sci-fi stuff goodness that I adore. And they have done a fantastic job remastering this game for the Legendary Edition. It just looks incredible. The game just looks stellar. And I'm so happy that they did. They, they put this much work into it. And, I'm, and I love it. And I just love it so much. There's a couple of small nagging things. Like how the... Some of the side quests are a little repetitive. Um, the collection quests aren't great. The, and all that stuff, but that's all minimal stuff. I don't. That's not an issue to me. Especially since the combat, which was originally the weakest thing about the first game, has been completely overhauled and it's much better now. It's honestly. If you're gonna play Mass Effect 1, play the Legendary Edition. This is the. De now I say the definitive way to play this game. This is the definitive version of the game. And I highly recommend it to anyone. Even if you've seen this Let's Play and know what happens and know how the game is still play the game i did the paragon there's still a bunch of stuff in the renegade side that i didn't do here just for the let's play just so much to this game go check it out if you can and with that i'm matt ak legion rex you can find me on twitter at legion rex you can also find me on here on youtube where you can like this video subscribe click the bell for notifications if you watched up to this point in the Let's Play, thank you so very much, and thank you for sticking through with me to the end. We'll see you all next time, or whatever comes next. Take care.